Stephen Covey has probably one of the greatest lines in his book, Seven Habits to Effective Leadership. And it's about one of, our, one of our issues as leaders is that we listen with the intent to respond, not with the intent to understand. And so what I turn around and say is, as leaders, we've got to get in the right mindset. We have to get in the mindset of the person speaking to us. story to help you remember how to get into the right mindset. A father comes home, had a terrible day, put out all the fires, he's exhausted. He comes in the house, puts his briefcase down, and his little five-year-old son comes around, daddy, 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 and grabs him by the leg and hugs him because that's as high as he can go. And father looks at him and says, hey, what, what's going on? What's happening? The little boy looks up and says, dad, where does poo come from? And the father thinks, well, he's five years old, he's kind of intelligent, you know, it's, you know, I'm gonna have to answer this question sooner or later. So he says, son, you know, as animals, we eat, you know, you eat, the things you're gonna eat can make you grow up bigger and stronger, build your bones. You know, as, as human beings, what we eat, uh, we use for energy. What we don't use for energy gets stored as fat. And what doesn't get stored as fat, we let go of. And if it's liquid waste, we call it urine. And if it's solid waste, we call it poo. He's looking at the sun for a reaction. The little boy's looking at him like, huh? And he goes, well, then where does Tigger and Eeyore come from? <laughs> So we'll focus on three specific skills and techniques that you can use for leading your people. And the areas that we're going to be talking about are one, increasing employee motivation, two, resolving conflict and workplace drama, and three, increasing and maintaining high levels of employee engagement. You manage things, you lead people. The art of great leadership is getting people involved getting things done, achieving progress through the involvement and actions of others. And that's what great leadership is all about, accomplishing progress through the involvement and actions of others. None of your employees want to be managed. I've never met anybody in the workplace who wanted to be managed. We all want to be led. I like to challenge my audiences to think and act in new directions. You know, a lot of research over the years has shown that people don't leave companies, they leave bosses. And part of the reason I think people leave bosses is they're leaving the kind of bosses who do not help them find, develop, and enrich their own talents. So if you wanna be a great leader, one of the key things you can focus on is to help each person on your team identify, develop, enhance what their specific talents are. One of the greatest gifts that leaders can give any other person is to help them find their talent. For eight years, I managed and organized the annual MasterCard Asia Pacific annual members event of their member banks in Asia Pacific, which drew up to 1300 participants in different cities around Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. So I know the challenges in organizing events and conferences, and I know what it feels like to be under the pressure of an event organizer and a meeting planner. I appreciate that your time is valuable and you need to trust the people and speakers you hire. So here's my commitment to you. I will engage your audience at all times. I will not just speak and run, but I'll be available for your social events, your book signings, your private sessions with executives, and anything else you need. I promise to be easy to work with. In fact, I pride myself on being cooperative and adaptable. And lastly, I will respect the importance of rehearsals and technical checks and be on time for these. 
My goal is to be a funnel of knowledge, experience, and expertise that inspires your audiences to immediate action and to help you make your event memorable and valued by attendees. I look forward to working with you. So you can't answer a five-year-old's question with your business mindset, with your adult mindset. You've got to go home and turn into a five-year-old mindset, all right? And that's the same thing in the workplace. So when people come to you and you think it's a really crazy story or a really crazy question they're asking, get into their mindset.